talk football and we have to start with the Super Eagles. Uh, well, they are ready to get their campaign at the FIFA World Cup back on track as they prepare to face Bosnia Herzegovina tomorrow. And there's no doubt that team captain Joseph Yobo understands the importance of the game. Our sports correspondent Austin Okonakpan was at the team's training session in Campinas, Brazil and now reports. The bus conveying coaching crew and members of the Super Eagles arriving at the Guarani Football Club Stadium in Campinas. When you get into the match venue, this is what you will see, a show of love for the Nigerian team. Before the warm-up starts, goalkeeper Vincent Iyama said a prayer. They know the grace of God is needed in that crucial game against Bosnia on Saturday. This is the last training session the team will have here before departing for Cuba. Coach Steven Keshi and Daniel Amokachi understands the importance of winning that match. Sadly, defender Godfrey Opoabona will not take part. He is yet to recover from the ankle injury picked up in the game against Iran. Coach Ike Shoromu had words of encouragement for him. The players looked relaxed as they passed the ball around. It was a light training session where coordination and opening to space was practiced. Coach Amokachi believes Mikel Obi can make a difference. Emmanuel Emenike was fired up all through. Hopefully, these legs will produce goals against Bosnia. The goalkeepers also had their moment. Vincent and Yama and Austin Ejide having a chat. Coach Kesh will be praying nothing goes wrong with that thumb. For Sase Odewinge, there is need to improve on speed. Training over and the team is back to their base. Captain Joseph Yobu explains the importance of the Bosnia game. It is going to be very, very difficult. They lost their first game, we drew our first game. We're both looking to pick up three points. Exciting game to play, I think. It's going to be a different kind of game from the one we saw against Iran, where they sat back. So they will come at us, we'll go at them because we want to score. So it's going to be a very, very difficult game and um, hopefully we'll do our best on that okay, day. I've you know. gone through their videos and I've seen them. Some of the players, I know them personally. Yeah, my teammate is there and uh, the other guys in Roma, I played against him and you know, some of the clips of their games, I think we've watched them and uh, at least by the grace of God, we know we, we have some information about them and we're ready to, to use those information to come out successful. In Group F, Nigeria has been fancied to qualify for the next round of the 2014 FIFA World Cup along with Argentina. And that makes the game against Bosnia a win or win encounter for the Super Eagles. With what was seen during training, this Super Eagles team can even beat Argentina. Pressure is indeed on the current African champion to impress on Saturday. From the Super Eagles base in Campinas, Sao Paulo, Brazil, I'm Austin Okunakwan reporting for Channels Television News. I'm smiling because Austin is very, very optimistic. He joins me now from Brazil. Austin, thank you so much for joining us on the program. You look, sound very optimistic. Are we that prepared? Well, at the show, I, I think... I think quite get what you said but yes you can still feel my optimism okay the way i'm dressed let uh, me say that again are yeah, we uh, that prepared for this mm. decisive match it's a couple of hours away mm. so they have most of the players have called it the game of their lives and i'm um, watching those players train and then looking into their eyes you can tell that they want to correct what they did against Iran. But you see, football doesn't work that way. I said in that report that um, with what I saw in training, this team can even beat Argentina, and that's true. But then when when it comes to the real deal, football doesn't work that way. So they're, right. they're saying to themselves that it's a game that they know Bosnia wants, but they want it more. They have one point, and they know if they win, that makes it four, you know, and that puts them, you know, Instead of a comfortable position, not too comfortable, but they know they can go try and get a draw against Argentina and qualify. So for Nigeria, it's a win or win game. The players are focused, they look fired up, um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, with faith, with all of you praying in Nigeria, they might just run over Bosnia and then get the victory on Saturday. Well, you just said the might just, let's just hope so. Well, from the cap on your head, I can tell that uh, the mood in Brazil is a very good one. What is the 
optimism like from the Nigerian community in Brazil? Do they think we can do it? Uh, yes, some do. Others are skeptical. A lot are, are yet to come out of their disappointments and from the Iran game. But I'll tell you what, they still want to support this team. A lot of them don't trust in the team, but they believe in the big boss. Um, and that's what I keep saying. Coach Steven Keshi hasn't failed yet, so let's still support the coach. For the fans here, they're only asking questions. A lot of them believe us as the Winget did so well when he came on in that game against Iran. So they're saying the coach has no reason to put him on the bench against Bosnia. Again, let the coach do his work. A lot of them are saying, if you take a Babatunde Michael, uh, AGK Uzwan, yeah, Michael Chebo, then play them when we need to win. So for, the, for, for them, yeah, it's mixed feelings. Those that want to support the team, they're still optimistic that Nigeria can beat Bosnia. Even when they're saying that, they still say, I ah, will beat Bosnia. Can we still qualify? Because, you know, this team, and they've thrown away the best chance against Iran. So it's that of mixed feelings, but I know they want Nigeria to win. Now let's talk a little bit about the squad. Uh, Obwabona is still a little bit ill, and then mm. he's been replaced by Joseph Yobo. So mm -hmm. uh, talk more about the squad for me, and see, let's see, let's try and see if um, that will make us think that they, <laughs> they can play um, against Bosnia Herzegovina tomorrow. I don't think that squad will change. Um, Joseph Yobo just Joseph Yobo will replace Godfrey Obwabona and Shock with Stephen Keshi. We still play Juwan Ashanua on the left and Ife Ambrose on the right, and then Yobo will pair with um Kenneth Omero. In the midfield, we might see some changes because and there's been talks that Roman Aziz did not get the sort of blend needed to play with Mikel B and um or gain your nazi so the coach might just be you know trying to shuffle one or, or two you know changes in the midfield i can't say but he's the coach but again he doesn't have much options in the midfield you know and then the strike force maybe an mnk and osaze or then we will be um spreading the attack with ahmed musa on the right and maybe maybe he might just play which you want for someone else because um we what we saw in training which you want for um is showing the desire that he wants to play remember that's one player that whenever he gets the chance to play for this country yeah. he's impressive so mm -hmm. that's about it coach Steven Keshi in the midfield not much options but attack he has a lot of options he can still juggle one or two players around and then get a result against Bosnia Oh, well, then we'll keep our fingers crossed. I mean, I had to ask you that question because everyone has been raising questions on the squad, the combination uh, of the players and, uh, you know, how they're being put together, basically, on the field. But that's okay. Let the coach do his job, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. And I just, just, to, just to mention, um, uh, a lot of people are not talking about Bosnia, but yes, we need to talk about Bosnia. Ah, tell us Why? About Bosnia. Because this team, they're just they're making their debut at the World Cup and they need to impress. Remember, in 1994, when Nigeria made a debut at the World Cup, that's been our best World Cup ever. So Bosnia is trying to make this a World Cup debut, remember? So that's not going to be an easy game for Nigeria on Saturday. Um, but the good thing is, um, um, Gogeni Onazi says he knows most of the players and at the team they've been monitoring um, the Bosnians, they've been watching tapes and Senat Lulic is um, his player back there in um, Lazio um, but then the dangerous Edin Dzeko and um, Vidal Ibisevic, they've been told to watch, you know, and the players have been told to watch them closely and of course you know they have a good goalkeeper in, in um, Begovic, so Bosnia is not a team that uh, they should underrate. I'm sure they won't do that, but it's a team that we should keep talking about. It's a team that the Super Eagles of Nigeria should not in any way, you know, underrate when they come out to play them on Saturday. Well, thank you so much, Austin, for scaring us the more because that's why I didn't <laughs> want to talk about Bosnia and Govina anyway. But that's okay. We'll keep our fingers crossed and we will support the Super Eagles. Thanks a lot. Go have more fun because I see okay. you're itching to do that. <laughs>